What's good, everybody? It's Debron Shanahan back again with some more NBA 2K content. And I'm tired of saying, oh, today's something a little bit different. I just accept it. This channel is, is different. It's not a typical 2K channel. Y'all recognize it. I recognize it. I got to stop saying something different because every day is something different. So if it's different all the time, then that's the norm. So today, what we're going to be talking about is games that if you play 2K now, five games that you most likely played growing up. The, this was inspired by, I put up a picture on my Twitter saying, for every like that you give me, I'm going to list a game from my childhood or one of my favorite games. And you guys, the games that I listed, everybody who follows me on Twitter, which follow me on Twitter right now, at DBrownShanhine. Don't worry, I'll wait while you go do that. Go ahead and follow me. Don't worry, I'll wait. Go, I'm not playing. Go follow me right now. But the games that I posted, most of the people who follow me on Twitter, they was really messing with it. And they was like, you know what, bro? I played this game too when I was young. I played this game too when I was young. And I was like, yo, if I played all these games and all these people played these games, huh. And so I compiled a little list that comes to five games. And basketball games are included in this list. So without any further ado, let's get into it. At number five, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I can really say any Grand Theft Auto, but I feel like San Andreas for most of us, like most of most of the people here was like, we weren't old enough to play, but we were playing it anyway. For a lot of y'all who are younger than me, Grand Theft Auto 4 might be y'all San Andreas. Because y'all was probably like, if I was in elementary school when San Andreas dropped and y'all younger than me, y'all boys was like babies, bro. San Andreas might, y'all probably didn't even play San Andreas like that. Grand Theft Auto 4 might be y'all San Andreas if, you, if you're a lot younger than I am. But San Andreas, if you play 2K now and you're around my age, then it is factual that you were playing San Andreas. But San Andreas, bro, that for one, it was the first Grand Theft Auto game where you was playing as a black dude. So that was that was heavy for me. Two, it was the first Grand Theft Auto that had co-op on it. You could fly, you could go around the, uh, the map. I say fly around. I was literally about to say fly around the map because I still know the jet code. Jetpack cheat code by heart. Uh, 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 up, down, left, right. Uh, 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 up, down, left, right. Like, I still know it by heart. I know all of the San Andreas cheat codes by heart still to this day. I will get a jetpack, fly to the the, uh, the co-op thing that was near Grove Street, and me and my friends would play co-op, like, all day. And I never... <laughs> this is this is a shame. I know you guys are going to be like, you're not a real gamer. I never beat San Andreas to this day. I still have not beat San Andreas. I've watched other people do it, but I myself have not beaten it. But that's number five, San Andreas, iconic game that had a major influence on my childhood. It's the reason why I wasn't a game banger. No, I'm joking. I, I wasn't going to be a game banger regardless because my mom would have beat the... And at number four, we got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. The reason I chose this one out of all of the Call of Duties is because this was the first Call of Duty that I played heavily. Like, I dabbled in them. In the first uh, Modern Warfare, I dabbled in it. World at War, I dabbled. You know, zombies, was, that was the first time zombies was in it. But Modern Warfare 2 was, that was like the first time, like I was playing online, like I would come home from school, baseball practice, and just, just grind. I was trash for months. Like, I was trash for like, I think I probably trash for like three months when I first got that game. And shout out to my boy, Neil. I know he don't watch my videos, but I don't even think Neil knows I have a YouTube channel. But uh, this this white dude who I was friends with in, uh, all throughout school, he was, I, I told him I had, I just signed up for Xbox. And he was like, yo, uh, you got Call of Duty? He's like, nah. He's like, I got an extra copy. Don't know why this man just had an extra copy of Call of Duty. He he gave it to me. Like, he lived right down the street from me. We met at the store, and he gave it to me. And later that summer, I broke my Grand Theft Auto 4, and he gave me his, his another extra copy. I don't know. What was this man doing to get all these extra copies of games? But anyway, I'm getting way far off course. He gave me Modern Warfare 2. And shout out to Neil, bro. We had the same birthday, I think. Either his birthday was the day before we had the same birthday. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Like, you guys know who Neil is. But yeah, Modern Warfare 2. You know, uh, noob tubes, um, hack lobbies, fucking aim bots, all of, all of that. Classic stuff. Modern Warfare 2. That was just, that was the most significant Call of Duty for me. That's what turned me into, like, a Call of Duty fan, like, really. And most of the people that I played with, I also played 2K with. It's like, Oh, I'll be playing 2K10 or 2K11, whatever 2K was out at the time. I'll be playing 2K, uh, 2K10, 2K11. We would go from playing crew, and then we'd be like, yo, all right, we done playing crew. What y'all boys want to do? Y'all boys want to go some card, run some card? Bet, I right, bet, bet, bet. And we all get on that Call of Duty. 
And the top three games are all basketball games, but you'll see why they're all basketball games. So at number three, we got NBA Ballers. The NBA Ballers series, like all of them, except for the one the one that came out the Phenom. I don't even the one that had Dwight Howard on it. I don't know anybody who played that game. Like I, I literally don't know. If you play the game, by all means let me know. I don't even remember what it's called. I think it was like the chosen one or something like that. But after Phenom, I I, I stopped playing uh NBA ballers. But NBA the first NBA ballers and NBA ballers Phenom, bro, those games were so lit. The the character models like, if you go back and look at them right now, you're like, how do they look so real? Like, how do they look just like the players on PlayStation 2? I mean, they look, the, the body models look weird. Like, it's like the texture was, like, funky. And, like, the shapes of the body was kind of funky. But the faces, the faces look just like them. And all the fancy moves and how you could, like, <laughs> they, had, they had all, like, the slow motion moves. And the, the dunks, you could dunk on people. Uh, the character customization, just everything. And then the NBA Ballers, Phenom, they made it like open world, which is where 2K got the idea from the neighborhood from, which I've said before. I, I just want to repeat that for you guys. NBA 2K stole the idea for the neighborhood from NBA Ballers, Phenom. Thank you. And at number two, it's very rare that you find people who were always 2K fans. There are people, like I know people who say that they played 2K from the time Iverson was on the cover for like every year. Iverson was on the cover of 2K from like 2K1 to like, well, Iverson was on the cover for a long time. But most people that I know, we started off as NBA Live fans. I started off as an NBA Live fan back with Live 99 on PlayStation 1, and we I just went from there. But the game that I am talking about at number two is NBA Live 05. NBA Live 05 was the, was the, that, that game was so good. It, it wasn't, the biggest change in gameplay but it was just how do, i can't i can't explain it it's like the gameplay took a big step up but it didn't it didn't change like the it didn't change engines or anything but the gameplay took a giant step up from maybe live 04 and of course they added the all-star weekend like that dunk contest the three-point shootout and all of that it, it can't be touched 2k 2K could never, 2K could never compete with that, even now. 2K had the dunk contest and stuff back in there where you could like jump over cars and props and all that stuff. But NBA Live's dunk contest from 05 through 09, untouchable, absolutely untouchable. And y'all know I always got to talk about soundtracks of games when they stick out to me. The soundtrack of that game, forever a classic, forever a classic. And at number one, y'all probably can already guess it. I'm, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and guess it. Go ahead and take take this time to make your guess. And if you get the guess right, tell me in the comments. But don't lie, because if you lie, then it ain't, it ain't no point. Like, I'm not going to give you nothing if you got it right. Let's just see if you get it right. So, go ahead and take your guess. Okay, you got your guess. At number one, number one is the NBA Street Series. I wanted to just say NBA, volume, NBA Street Volume 2, but that's... That's do that's doing the rest of the the rest of the series a discredit. One and, and the one that came out the three, they were not bad games. NBA Street Volume Two was just the one that that's the one that everybody like we champion that game so hard. But the whole series was lit. Even the one after, even the one with Super Mario and Baron Davis on the cover. I remember grinding on those games so hard, bro. I remember grinding on NBA Volume Street NBA Street Volume One. And Michael Jordan had like the blue little sleeveless shirt on, and you unlock Jordan like hella early, and like you could take your, you would go to different courts and play different people to unlock the best people from there, and you upgrade your character. I remember I had the Magic Johnson move, like you you could choose the type of player you had, like you upgrade your. Y'all remember? I don't know why I'm going through this like y'all never played the game before. NBA Street Volume One and Two was lit, and Three Three was fun too. Uh, I remember you could you could make a kid in that one. Like you you could choose your player. I remember I, I made a prodigy, and it was like a little you play as a little like you can choose you can choose. Ah, if my voice ain't cracking, then I'm butchering the English language. I don't know how y'all deal with me, bro. I don't know how y'all really how y'all deal with me, man. I love y'all, but anyway, yeah, you can choose your type of player. And NBA Home Court, I feel like that game get a lot of unnecessary heat. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I was in sixth grade when I played it, but I didn't. I didn't find much wrong with that game. I mean, it wasn't like the incredible game that the others were. But everybody likes to shit on that game like it was terrible. It wasn't terrible. 
in my opinion. But those are the games, man. Those are the five that tell me if you played all five. Tell me if you didn't play any of them. If depending on your age, like if you my age, I know for a fact you played every game that I list. If you if you 22 and anywhere in that range, you play all of these games. Don't don't even flex, bro. Don't hold me. Like come on now, keep it keep it 300. Done. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so now because you know we lit. We do all kinds of crazy weird videos. We ain't doing the same shit that everybody else in the 2K community doing. Not knocking nobody. But I don't want to be a copy or a replica of anybody else. Which is why I like to do the funny, weird stuff that we do over here on the D. Brown Shanghai channel. Shout out to the Shanghai fam. And as always, I'm D. Brown Shanghai. Ah! Alright, I'm going to have to tell y'all another time about... How I, I, I broke my knuckle. I have a broken knuckle right now. I'm 300% sure of it. And I keep forgetting about it. Uh, but yeah, I'm about here.